Hey everyone, so I am back with another little makeup tutorial. Um, today I'm going to attempt to do a bullet hole to the head. So with that being said, let's dive right on in. All right, so for this today, um, I know I used uh, my homemade scar wax for the last one I did. Um, this time I bought some pre-made stuff here. We're gonna test that out and give it a go. Um, if I can open it, we'll be good. <laughs> there we go. All right, so first thing we wanna do is put a little bit of Vaseline on the spot that you're going to be shooting yourself in the head with. Um, I'm just gonna put like a little bit of Vaseline right in the middle there. That way you can get the scar wax to stick <clears throat> on there. You don't want to put too much on it though. Just a little, little tiny slather. <clears throat> All right. Now we're going to take our little nifty tool here and uh, scoop a little bit of the scar wax out. You may want to put a little bit of Vaseline on your fingers as well so it doesn't stick to your fingers while you're trying to mold the uh, scar wax. Again, don't put too much on there either. All right, so got the scar wax out. And what you want to do is you want to roll it into like a little snake so we can form our bullet hole entry wound. Don't want to make it too big because the entry, entry wound is uh, small. Wound. Opening. Opening? Yeah. So once you've got it rolled <clears throat> to the size that you want, Take it and form a little circle, like so. Then we're going to take it and we're going to stick it where we want the hole to be. Put it on there. Now that we got it on in the right spot here, let's go ahead and start spreading it into the skin. Make sure you have some Vaseline on the tool or it will pull the wax off. So you just want to blend it in so it looks like it's part of your skin. Then when we're done doing that and everything, we'll doctor it up with uh, makeup. Add some bruising and whatnot to it. <clears throat> And we'll reshape the hole too. Don't use the tool to push a little bit. And if you need more Vaseline, put a little bit more on there. I find it works. Hear the wind blowing in the background. It's a very windy day here. All right, so 
if you lose the shape of your your entrance entry wound entry wound there um, you can take something that's about the same size as a casing this is tip of my eyeliner is pretty close here um, be very careful because you can pull up the scar wax so put a little Vaseline on it and um, kind of just move it in there a little bit just to regain the shape Um, you muck it up a little bit, just get your little pool here and smooth it back out. There we have our entrance, entry wound. I want to keep saying entrance. Okay, so the fun part. All right, I'm gonna add a little this caster sealer here to the scar wax, and then we're gonna start uh, making it look like a bloody bullet hole. Too, to spread it out too and blend as well. It works as well. Right. Add a little bit of that off there. <laughs> Looking like something. <laughs> Alright, so. Didn't grab my foundation. I'll be right back. Alright, got my foundation. My Maybelline that I always use. And want to put a little bit on there to make it match your skin tone. Dab that on in there like that. And blend it around. Powder, translucent powder to get rid of the tackiness. Somewhere over here. <laughs> Gonna dab some of that on a little bit. Don't be too heavy with the brush and pull everything off. Oh, tap. Tap that on around it. Oh, that looks, looks good. Time to add some bruising. So for that, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. little blush and bronzer here that I've used way too many times, as you can see. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a little bit of the uh, reddish blush first. Just tap it around. Of course, an impact like that is going to cause a lot of bruising. Okay. I'm gonna add some of the brown, the bronzer, whatever. Technical today.
And then I have this other bronzer. I'm gonna throw some of this on. Tad, tad darker there. Make this believable as possible. Not that I've seen in the movies. I haven't seen, thank God, in real life. We're good on our bruising. A little bit. I don't know why I do that every time. <laughs> I'll probably use the tip of this brush too to get the hole back where it needs to be. Alright, so now. Let's start with the hole. Put some stuff up here. So first I'm gonna add some black. I think that's what I'm gonna do first. A little in my X eyeshadow palette here. Perfect black. Get in the hole. Powder residue. <laughs> Looks awesome. Alright. Now for the reds, and then we'll get to the blood and we'll be done. It's pretty simple. Uh, once you get the hang of the uh, scar wax. I've struggled with that a little bit, with sticking and losing my circle and whatnot, so. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of the red eyeshadow that I have in here and kind of dab in there as well. take my little pink pot here, red, that I've used on other makeup tutorials, and we're going to stick that in the middle to give them a little bit more of a red blood color there. So technical. Alright, so we're just going to take our brush and Dab that right in, right in the center there. See that? A little bit more. Nice little wound here. Can put some around. Give that irritated look. Because I'm sure it's going to be irritated. <laughs> now for the fun part. Add the blood. Alright, so I'm going to take this thick blood for gory effects here that, I've, that I have used and put some of that in there. Let's see. Put it on there, on our brush here, and dab that on in. And you're going to want it to drip out because obviously blood's going to start running out of that. Head back to keep it in there. <clears throat> Don't want it running out just yet. Oh, that looks awesome. Alright, see, now we got the dripping 
All right, guys, so there you have it. There is your bullet hole entry wound. I think it looks pretty badass. It feels really, really weird dripping down my nose right now, but yeah. pretty awesome. All right, guys, um, you know, it's been a minute since I posted my last video and everything, so um, sorry for that. It's been crazy, Halloween ending and all, and getting into ne next holiday season and stuff. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so and make sure you hit that notifications bell so you're notified when I go live with my live streams and when my new content drops weekly. Also, you can get me on social media on Facebook and Instagram. It's Ginger Slash with a Z and over on Twitter is Ginger Six. All right, guys, uh, once I get to 200 subscribers, we're going to be doing a live stream and do a little bit of a giveaway. So share with your friends. Uh, hit that subscribe button, show your girl some love, and we're gonna do some fun stuff on this channel. So until next time, have a great night.